Now, Heartland Football Friday, sponsored by EBOMD. Hi again, everyone, and welcome to Heartland Football Friday. I'm Todd Richards, and we've got some outstanding games to get to. Our first stop takes us out to Scott City, the Rams hosting the Kelly Hawks. And, hey, what a, a big night out there. Uh, certainly looking for some action. And, and of course, uh, Donate for Life and all the activities they've got going on out at Scott City. Meanwhile, hey, what a play right here by the defense. And Scott City comes up with the pick. Uh, they were outstanding on D and offense coming up with that football. Jackson Gloff, their fine quarterback, making plays all over the place as well. They get the touchdown right there. Again, he was everywhere. And hey, nothing, take nothing from that Kelly D either. But this was Scott City's night. And the final score, we will put it on the board for you. 35 to 13, the Rams win over the Kelly Hawks. Now next up, the Charleston Blue Jays at Chaffee. It was also uh, a big night for them. You could see their uh, big senior night for Chaffee. And hey, those guys have paid a lot of price, right? A lot of hard work. Meanwhile, the touchdown from Charleston's Deshaun Henderson just kind of barrels his way in. They had some aggressive running as well. Canarius Clark uh, also out there, just kind of smashing his way through for Charleston. And the final score, we will put it up on the board, 38 to nothing. The Blue Jays with the win over the Red Devils. Without any further delay, it's time for our Heartland Football Friday game of the night. Sykeston and first year head coach Jim May visiting a very talented and experienced Dexter Ball Club. Let's head out to Luke Randall for the highlights and the outcome, Luke. Todd, a lot of hype going into this game. You know, Sykeston lost 22 0 to Dexter last year, really hoping to prove themselves. And you know what? Let's see if they did. The game of the night, sponsored by CarsForLife.com. Homecoming football, the Dexter Bearcats know their mission win on homecoming weekend, but the Sykeston Bulldogs looking to spoil. It would not go Sykeston's way, however, in the first quarter. Nolan Alford would start the scoring. Then Jed Graham, he's a guy that can rumble and tumble, but he uses that speed right there. He's built like a little Derrick Henry, but he just turns on the Jets right there. It's in his name. He scores. Then Sykeston on offense. This one's picked, and it would go all the way back. Devin Turnbow, 21-0 in the first quarter, and the Bearcats letting them hear it. Their tropical theme right there. Sykeston, their main highlight of the game in the first half would be this interception right here, but the Bearcats would respond with 21 more points of their own, and this could be a contender for player of the week right here. This one, Alford, <laughs> trucks a guy into the end zone. You hear the collision. He scores, and then Jet, again, won a night. He had three touchdowns, unofficially 206 yards, and he talked about scoring three touchdowns on his senior homecoming weekend, and just how much he loves that offensive line that blocks for him. <laughs> this is the best feeling, man, but I'm not really trying to worry about it. I'm just trying to, like, stay humble and, like, help my offensive line, you know, just trying to keep the team up, and that's, that's all I came here to do. I mean, I love them boys, man. We go, we eat breakfast in the morning. That's my boys, man. If I can go back and do anything with them, that's, that's what I would do. Bearcats can enjoy the weekend before they turn their focus next week to hosting New Madrid County Central. Yeah, like I said, Dexter dominated all game long. Very impressive showing from all their fans out here, and a very impressive performance from Jet and the guys at Dexter. Bearcats dominated that one, Todd. All right, thank you, Luke. Another fine job. Meanwhile, a good old rivalry game in Southern Illinois. The Heron Tigers visiting the West Frankfurt Redbirds. We check out the highlights out here, and I got to tell you, some hard hitting, just smash mouth football going on out there. Driving it down, that's Chris Nelson company hitting that ground. Everybody's stopping everybody. West Frankfurt on defense in the dark jerseys. They had a huge stop on fourth down. And watch the defense, both sides. Then watch the moves coming up here. Travion Johnson, one juke, another juke. Knocking guys on the ground, he didn't even touch them. And then Johnson in the end zone for the touchdown. And West Frankfurt. They get the job done. They get the win. We'll put it on the board. 34 to 12 over Heron. What a win for the Redbirds. All right, the Poplar Bluff Mules making the trip to St. Louis to take on Chaminade. Poplar Bluff's got a guy by the name of J.R. Lathan, and he says, I like interceptions. 
and he snags this one really nice. They were celebrating. Good game for Papa Buff. Good game all the way around. Very close ball game. Meanwhile, Devin Ferguson, this number 22, runs with some authority, a little bit of attitude. Tough guy. He says, oh yeah, oh yeah, that's how we do it. And then Jay Edmondson, the nice pass here to Logan Slack, takes a tough hit, but Ferguson would finish it. Hopper Bluff finishes off Chaminade, 14 to 12. Quite a game, quite a win. Cape Central Tigers trying to make it two straight to open the season. At St. Charles West, Zaire Thomas, the little big man. Number three just makes plays happen. That time on the pass, and then a little bit later, the pitch from Declan Pittman picks up more big Tigers yardage. Getting it done around that corner. Cape Central powers their way. Hey, watch out. They've been starting slow. Not this year. They're 2-0. 35 to nothing over St. Charles West. All right. Plenty more to come on Heartland Football Friday. Stick around, don't move an inch. We'll see you with more highlights ahead.